listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. What it do, Trill, yo! What it do? Episode 172 of the Truth Be Told Podcast. It's your boy Big U, you in this thing. Reefa. Black Tide is in this thing. Y'all know this nigga be quiet as hell. Don't be introducing himself. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, trillmac.com slash YouTube. Uh, Do that. Yeah. Hit us up for the merch, too. Yeah. Where can they find it at? Help, help, help. Support the cause and shit. Go look fresh. Go look fresh while doing it. Absolutely. Um, Trimac.com slash merch is where you go for that. It really helps. Uh, definitely, definitely helps. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually tired as hell. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to turn it up here in a second. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to give this guy an energy drink. By the time this, com- <laughs> by the time this comes out, it's going to be almost 4th of July, right? Yeah. yeah y'all, y'all queuing it up. Well, fireworks? No, no, no. You, 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 you BBQing it up? Oh, BBQing it up. Maybe. <laughs> you queuing it up? Maybe. The, oh, that's right. We talked about, you know, if you get on the grill or not. Yeah. Yeah. None of y'all are grill masters. Yeah, right. Uh, again, I was told you were hosting, so I'm going to be. Oh, oh, shit, nigga. Okay. Let's, let me tell you something. Is it, is it, My shit going to be all store bought. <laughs> <laughs> Pre made. <laughs> um, Ready to eat. Nah, man, but to be honest with you, real talk, the last like few years, mm-hmm. I haven't really been that into uh, 4th of July, man. I just like yeah. having a day off. Yeah. I don't Me even really go see the fireworks anymore. Me neither. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I did last year, I think, with my girl, but the year before that, I was kind of like, yeah, I didn't feel like it. Yeah, is, I mean, is it really, you know? Like, is, just is think it about worth, it. Is it worth the chance of getting in a car accident? <laughs> Bro, shit, it'd be just fucking wild. Adult, you start there, thinking shit like that. You want to go, just like, I want to see the fireworks as a kid, but as an adult, you're like, ah. No, the fireworks ain't even that live. There drinking, there's people out there just bumper to bumper trying to get to where they want to go, or whatever. And it's like it ain't worth that shit. You know, one Fourth of July was pretty live. The one, the one when uh when Jay Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail came out yeah. <laughs> down here off of yeah. the uh, off of Cleary. It was like it was everybody like a big ass like it. black party. It was and everybody was jamming this jamming this album. Jamming that was a pretty shit. live Fourth of July. But other than that, man, listen, I go look at the the, the fireworks and I'm like, can y'all do some dope shit? No. Like, Maybe like Homer Simpson. That yeah, pictures and shit in there. Yeah. Maybe like a, the the heart, but like an arrow going through it. To some, I, I want to see emojis. Yeah, I, I, yeah, emojis. You know what I'm saying? Like some. You know what I mean? We can't do that Something. yet. No, I guess not. Not 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 for a public firework display. There there really needs to be some engineers that need to figure that out. You know what oh, I'm they, saying? They be having some shit like that already. So we can all look at it. Don't want it for us. Oh shit! They just got the regular shit and then the grand finale, a whole bunch. Little nice X, damn. You know what I'm saying something, right? Why don't Elon Musk do something for us? I feel like he could do some shit. SpaceX ain't that far from where we are right now. Fuck no, it, it really ain't. Yeah, but if we're gonna do just basic ass fireworks, I'm probably not gonna check it out. I'm probably just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> so you know I'll pop, I'll, I'll pop my own fireworks. That's the damn. You know what? Every fucking year. That's the way to do it. Every fucking year, I'm like, all right, next year I'm getting fireworks and I'm lighting this bitch up. You know. Every year I get to fucking July 4th and I'm like, I forgot the fucking fireworks. I know they got them like half off or buy five or get buy one, get five free or something like that at all the stands. Right now like, they yeah, do? Yeah, the stands. I keep seeing that shit. And I didn't buy none because I already I still got leftovers. Yo, can, yo, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I kick it with you? So we can uh, light these bitches up. I might have to go somewhere else. I can't do it in my where I stay now, in my new neighborhood. I don't know if. That, Man, you well, you know what? Shit. I might be able to actually. Fuck them. No, because yeah, yeah, this our fucking city, you know bro. I can't because my fucking uh, they did that shit on like New Year's. The motherfuckers were popping shit out See? there. So I was like, Fourth of July. Nah, what's the let difference? These bitches light, let's light this fucking. Let's light that neighborhood I'm up. Light something up. Yeah, blow that bitch up. Weed. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> which I want to get into first, man. Which I want to start off with. You know what? We just did the reaction. Let's let's jump right in. 
<laughs> you you want you want to jump right into Dreamville? Yeah, we're going straight Why to Boom Trap. All right, man. Dreamville is a uh, number. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dreamville dropped two new tracks. We did a reaction to them, so make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel to go check, check those that out. out. Oh yeah. Uh, we were just talking about how how uh, we'll share the link. Yeah, we were just talking about how good they were. Good, solid Dreamville. Definitely, yeah. Songs. The album is dropping on Friday. Um, they're looking real good out here. It's man. looking promising. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm trying to think of like another team that looks as promising. Right now? Mm. <laughs> no other team's doing this. <laughs> Not to this caliber. When was someone. the last time there was a hip hop like t- like team team like this? You had your Young Money, you know what I'm saying? Young Money, um, good music. To reference what you said on the other video, back like that Good Friday time when good music came on strong. Right. For, um, was it Cruel Summer? Right, right, right. It was Cruel Summer. It was, yeah, it was, um, it was a lot of shit. They it was yeah. all dropping shit. But when was the last time that that's, that's like happened with like a click, rap click? It's been a minute. It's, it's been, been a minute, been a right? It has been a while. We're missing that, man. The big, the big compilations, rap clicks, everybody flowing, rapping, spitting, mm-hmm. trying to be the best. We need that. We need that back. Definitely. We used to have, we used to get that shit on a regular. Three Six Mafia used to do it. No Limit did it. You know, Cash Money and them did it. They all did it. Yeah, they, they did all do it, man. Rough Riders. I mean, this, Rough Riders, yeah. It's so crazy. The like, Lunatics. We, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We, well, I'll try we, to got act. This, we got this project coming Friday. We, like you said, we've gotten these four tracks. They've been great so far. We're hoping we get a decent track count, you know, on Friday. <laughs> we don't want yeah. to get let down. Right. Um, but I, I think we got to talk about a question you raised earlier today. So I tagged Punch and, <laughs> on Twitter, and I'm like, because they said, hey, Dreamville's dropping Friday. I tagged Punch, like, are you seeing this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on in it's the halls like of gonna, TDE? You gonna let them get away with this? Right? You just gonna let this shit rock? You gonna let this happen? Uh, you signed off on this? <laughs> you that, that that video we were watching earlier with the with Team USA? <laughs> right, bro. It's, it's like I got I got to I got to talk I got to look at Punch. How come you can't get them in the same room? For real, I'm gonna be honest. It and it's it's looking like that's they're not gonna ever have that happen with with Schoolboy flat out saying we're not gonna get that project was the most demoralizing thing that ever. Like, all right, we're just not gonna get it. I know. At that point, I he gave doesn't up. have the energy for it anymore. I could tell. You know what I'm saying? They missed that opportunity. Not not in the sense of like no, they're irrelevant. Just in the sense they're like. There was a point when you had a lot of buzz around people other than Kendrick that would have been, I think, a more ideal time to strike. Right, but, right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they don't... I Not to say they don't care, but it's like, okay, well, fine. <laughs> Said fine. All right, fine then. All right. That's how it's going to be. I mean, I'm still going to listen to their releases whenever they drop new music, whenever yeah. any of the artists drop. I still fuck with them. It's like, I'm going to listen, but I'm still going to tag you every time. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, laughs> I just don't understand it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even if you didn't do Black Hippie, like, can we just get a compilation? You know what I'm saying? A compilation okay. of TDE's best work. And let's just see. Everybody come up with some, a couple of tracks and then put them all together. Right. TDE presents. No. I mean, they even went on that big ass tour together. Was everybody on this tour? There was quite a few of them. Somebody got left behind. Well, let me see. What's I think it, it was the Isaiah champ- Rashad. The championship tour or something like that? I think Isaiah Rashad got left behind. That's what I'm saying. Dude. Should, no, Home alone. No, no one should be left behind. <laughs> no one should be Macaulay Culkin. Right. <laughs> Shit. Everybody should be it out was, here. It was the championship tour with Scissor, Kendrick Lamar, Schoolboy Q, J-Rock, Ab, Soul, Sir, and uh, your boy Skywalker. Lance Skywalker. Yeah. See, they left Isaiah Rashad behind. Why? That's too many niggas. You think a Dream- Dreamville tour is coming? They probably not even gonna do a tour. See them doing a a kind of uh, like a festival. Mm-hmm. It's probably a better look because you get everybody to come to the festival this one time. Yeah, exactly. Um, versus, I mean, the tour is probably way more money and in, money involved. You're gonna spend a lot be. too, though. But it's a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of 
That's a lot of deal people. With. That's a lot Fuck of different out. types of stuff. You need a lot of different things. Setups, all that shit. Just... Now, the festival's smart because you can have everyone there, so you can do your stuff together. You can do stuff separate. It's a much more seamless transition between acts. Right. Mm-hmm. But I can't I mean the tour, don't get me wrong. It would be dope, but it would be, it'd be a production. It'd be a lot. I think a Dreamville tour is coming. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I think it's coming. Yeah. But yeah, man, shout out to Dreamville. Shout out to two new songs, man. They were, they were, they were solid. They were and... great. And. Make sure the whole album is dope. <laughs> I hope it is. Please don't give us eight songs. Don't please. Oh my don't. god! You give me just don't double songs. what you just like what you giving <laughs> us. Don't give us four more. And that's it. No. Better not oh be no EP. Oh, no, shit. I'm be furious. <laughs> Yo, this shouldn't be a mixtape. No, this should be real deal. Me, if these niggas give me anything less than fourteen songs, mm. I'm I'm gonna break some shit. <laughs> so in total or fourteen I'm going to more? Break fourteen some shit. more. Or, or, or 14 Listen, total. I'm just saying I need at least 10 more in order for me to be at ease. If you give me anything less than 14 in total. That's too little. It is too little, but I'm just That's saying if you give me anything little. less than that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have your to question right. this whole project. I, don't I can even... respect that. That's your minimum. Yeah, my minimum. Yeah, yeah. All right. And your <laughs> you maximum said, is definitely twenty. Shit, I'm no, that's, some shit. You said, "So help me if this is less than an hour and five minutes." <laughs> Man, hey, straight up, that shit needs to at least be an hour. I don't want that forty something minute, fifty. I want an 22 hour. Twenty two minutes. I want an hour of this shit. Of some good Bullshit. quality. No, shit. no, no. Give us, give us all the good. Give us, give us. It's, it's like dope. Hour. Give us no. You know, you go to dope boy. You're like, nah, nah, nah. Put put a little more in the bag, nigga. Damn. You know like, nah, nigga. I, I waited, nigga. This is an eight. I need a whole whole gram. Like you're, you, right. you're trying to cut me short, and I ain't feeling that. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to shout out to TDE. Uh, I mean, uh, Dreamville. Whoa! Ooh. Ouch! I didn't do that on purpose. No, I that was no shady, wasn't it? I really <laughs> didn't do that. Speak. Let's let's talk about team. Let's, let's talk about let's teams move on. that could have done something great. Maybe they ain't doing nothing great. Let's talk about the NBA and what's going on over there. Mm-hmm. On the NBA. Going. So, Kevin, Kevin Durant is gone. Gone. Adios. To the Nets. <laughs> Kyrie to the Nets. Okay. Dame staying where he's at, getting paid. Clay staying where he's at, getting paid. Bunch of other pieces moving. Jimmy Butler, he's gone. He's going to Miami. Right. Um, Sixers picked up some other pieces. There are people all over the place. A lot of key right. a lot veterans. Of, a lot of people moving around. Signing big contracts. Mm-hmm. Um, we're just waiting on one more. Who? Where's Kawhi going? Kawhi? We don't know. You know this is a LeBron's league again, right? Yeah. Whether or not Kawhi comes there, it's LeBron's league again. Yeah. And, man, here's I don't know if you saw, but they were saying that LeBron reportedly told Kawhi, if you come out here, I will... Play a more complimentary role than I've ever played in my career. Really, more complimentary. He apparently said this. Apparently, his people asked the Lakers some questions. The Lakers gave all the right answers. A lot of the experts think he's coming, but we don't know for sure. I will say this though: should he not, <laughs> Lakers are in trouble because everyone else good is signed. <laughs> yeah. While they're waiting. Yeah, that'd be a good look. Oh, DeAndre Jordan going to the Nets too. Forgot to mention that the niggas still not Brooklyn going to over there trying to step it up. Yeah, Katie's gonna be out for a year. Did you see? Um, nigga was like, "I'm going to nobody's if I as long as I'm I'm the owner, nobody will ever wear KD's jersey jersey number. Not as long as I'm the owner. It's like, damn, bitch, you retired this nigga jersey. Right. Nigga did three years with y'all, All right? For real, <laughs> Jesus, you make he didn't make that much impact. <laughs> Steph's sitting there looking at him like. Yeah, Steph for real, like, bitch, I'm here. <laughs> what about me? me? Yeah. <laughs> nah, um, I don't think KD is going to the, uh, well, I mean, he's, of course, he's going to be out next season, <laughs> which is kind of like a free a free season of, of money. I will say this. For yeah. Kevin Durant. New York Knicks, could tighten up. Yo, <laughs> I bet them niggas are sick. That's sick. Super sick. They went from thinking they were going to get Kyrie, KD, and the number one pick to nothing. To absolutely nothing. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I mean, they got R.J. Barrett, but that's it. <laughs> they don't want him. <laughs> you saw they said that they were not going to offer KD to Max. So y'all aren't in a position to be acting like that. Yeah, I don't care if he's injured. I mean, you know, it could, but that could, you know, that injury could be it enough could, to. Bro, they they ain't been good. You're not since taking a chance. The trail no. Sprewell last time they were good. 
Oh, okay. shit. Since, the, since, since, the, since Spinners since came spinners? out. <laughs> yes. Jesus. They, remember they used to call him as pre Yeah, the spree Wells. Because he, he had the, the first to really put it out there. God damn, that was dog. Like, 01, 2000. Jeez. I don't know. Whenever he set it off, it was a... F- that was the culture right there, dog. That shit took over. All Back right? We had Latrell Sprewell. Nigga, AI, you come to a stop and the rims keep going? Moving. Yep. They don't stop. <laughs> why was that shit so... Why were we so into that shit? It was wild. Or the ones, the, or the pendulum ones, the ones that just sway. Yeah, they don't oh, move yeah, at all. Yeah. They don't spin at all. These motherfucking niggas. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what's wrong with us. Uh, she was dope though. Shit, <laughs> too expensive. Remember dope. The, the, Always fucked up though. The eventually. little fake hubcap spinners. Yes. <laughs> it's like, yo, those. y'all really got these? Like, yep. you get those at Walmart. <laughs> you get them at Walmart for like 19 bucks. Yep. Y- y'all really and you, could, and you could spin too. <laughs> You know, I just look down and I'm like, all right, dog. You don't need to have the spinners. Wait, you're doing too much. Right. Now. Um, but yeah, man. A lot, of, a lot of movement in the league. A lot of people getting paid, man. These contracts are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that uh, LeBron's going to go back. <laughs> Warriors is out of there. All right. Yeah. Uh, you saw what they did to the Iguodala? Nah. What's, what's going he got to traded. Done? To who? But it's funny because everybody was clowning online saying they're like, mm-hmm, he went on to Breakfast Club, the Breakfast spilling Club, tea, he was and he got this, traded right after that. He was out here talking a lot of shit on Breakfast Club. On oh, no, the training staff. Yeah. I, he I think to, it was to Memphis. They traded him to Memphis, I think. Wow. He added it. They said it's because he was, he was spilling tea on the Breakfast Club. <laughs> the timing does look kind of bad, but I, I mean, I don't know if that's the actual reason. He, I think he's going to, uh, <laughs> he's going to, go on to the Lakers too. <laughs> Just imagine, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, let's move on, man. Um, Meg the Singer. What is this about? This, so, re- real quick, real quick. This is just from NBC Sports because I typed in Andre's name real quick. I don't know if there's any fact to this, but it said uh, he would get a buyout in Memphis and sign with the Lakers. <laughs> we'll see if that actually happens. I would love to see it. We'll see. I've seen, seen some people talking about this, man. I would we, love to see it. We got to see what, what, what Woj. <laughs> Take it to the Warriors. What the Woj is talking about. Yeah, that dude been working. <laughs> he ain't even working. He's just been sitting on his couch. What? <laughs> <laughs> just tweeting out shit. It says it. <laughs> to the Woj bomb. <laughs> <laughs> He's just over here drinking, drinking motherfucking wine and on his iPad. Like, that's it. Y'all saw how they did KD, though? No. Everybody was waiting on the decision. He's like, oh, I'm going to announce it on my... Uh, my company's Instagram Woj at, came at out five was like, o'clock. Dude came out an hour fifteen before that. Like, yeah. uh, it's a done deal. Yeah, Woj just <laughs> like sources say <laughs> he's going to the Nets. It's like, damn, you didn't let this nigga like, announce the I shit. I wanted to no. announce it. Yeah, no. yeah Woj be on his shit, dog. He be knowing his shit. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no more of the decision. How does this nigga know everything, dog? Everything. What is I'm he fine. doing? Is he? Is he? he has I don't know, man. <laughs> he got to. He must somehow be cool with the players, and the players just letting him know shit. <laughs> like, sure. like you got you must have some players like, hey man, I want to be a Woj bomb. And he's like, oh, all right. he's like, all right, I got you next off season. Yo, yo. <laughs> could you imagine a nigga like, yo, give me the info. I got, I got, the, I got the goods, man. <laughs> Word is, KD is going <laughs> to the Nets. I mean, it's done like, deal. Yeah, come on, dog. <laughs> you want to, you want to be the gossip guy? Mm-hmm. Maybe. Oh shit! Shout out to Woj. Could be he got the, he got the, he, he got the. <laughs> the goods he does this nigga's literally sitting there sitting there on his twitter page all day hitting the refresh button mm-hmm. that's it yeah shouts out to him man that's uh, nice <laughs> make the singer man what's going on what, with make the singer what do you think when you read that what do you what do you think what is that what do you think that means let me roll let me roll on you <laughs> okay <laughs> i never liked that hook by the way now she had tweeted she's like i'm I think I'm going to drop, drop a little R&B project. Oh, no. So I wanted to see how uh, you, you felt about this. <clears throat> yeah. No, don't do it. We got. We have to don't know about it. your... It's your Meg. So what, 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 do you feel Meg. About, what, what do you feel about your Meg doing this? Your Meg. That's funny. You don't want to hear the, the big old freak acoustic? Nah. The freak acoustic. <laughs> oh, shit. No, nah, that song... The song is cool. I just don't like that part of the, the hook where she's actually kind of singing. I never liked that part of the song. Um... I don't know though. You don't, want, you don't want her singing to you. She might. It might actually be good, man. I mean, she's at the point now where she got a little bit of money. She can get some vocal coaches, help her step it up. You think? You think all these artists is getting on this just singing? I mean, listen. We just did a uh, did a uh, 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 um, a reaction to your boy's video. Uh, 
um, Asian dude. Rich Brian. Rich Brian. And he's kind of harmonizing on the first part of that song. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he's <laughs> he got a vocal coach to help him be Get better that, at right? vocals. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of the things she does on the side. I, I remember seeing a... a, a uh, Drake do, doing that when he got on and he was Man, about he was to like open about that getting his improving his singing abilities right right he improved his he had people come in to help him uh perform you know what I'm saying like yeah. of course yeah so he's supposed to do I for her I just I mean I understand him maybe want to play around with stuff but I just don't think that's her lane that's just <laughs> watch it watch her put a fire ass my advice gonna be amazing that shit gonna yeah. be fire and you're gonna be like well damn I guess I I was off lane. Yeah. Everybody gonna be throwing the draws on stage again. Oh, I'm. If it's good, <laughs> she almost said, "I will, I will." If it's good. It's I'll gonna be just me. Tear him right off, my, right off my body. Throw him on the stage. Why you still feel the pain? Queen. Um. Yeah, man. Let's move on, man. Billboard, oh, billboard, shit. billboard. What's going on with the billboard? Your boy, Lil Nas X. What happened? Has set the record for the longest number one hip hop song ever. Old Town Road is the twelfth song. Uh, that's hip hop in Billboard's Hot 100 history to be at number one for at least thirteen weeks. Uh, it passed the following three tracks, which all have a twelve week tie: Eminem's "Lose Yourself," Wiz Khalifa "See You Again," and the Black Eyed Peas "Boom Boom Pow." <laughs> he beat Eminem. Lose yourself. He beat Wiz Khalifa. It's been a long like you saying that that was like a you, hit. He beat boom boom pound. <laughs> yeah. How did that last that long? <laughs> that was up there for twelve weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. How did that last so long? Boom boom boom. I guess people were loving it. I don't know. <laughs> but Fergie <laughs> that shit lasted twelve weeks. I didn't know that lasted Damn, twelve weeks. I thought that was definitely a two weaker. Yeah. <laughs> At the most. <laughs> two weaker than Staying 12 That was a weeks. different time. Yo. Then you would only know it if you were looking for it to read about it every week. There was there was a point in time Black Eyed Peas was definitely running the world. Yeah, They were they were popping. And if you wanted to read the charts, you'd have to actually read it like in print or something like that. Right. right. Yeah, they definitely ran it for a second there. I actually got one of those albums. I actually like it. You would. It was, there, was you. Like, it was just, there was actually... There was one on the black that, cover? Is it that one? He's like, oh, yeah, no, no. You probably have Ella Funk. No. I think that's what that one's called. He, he probably, got, he, like, he he probably la- got the original. He just one. labeled you the, the first one. He probably yeah, got the probably. pre <laughs> joints and jams, joints and jams. Oh, shit. That seemed like he him. even know that yeah, he had it. That seemed like him. Nah, I don't got that one. Had. I got the one that came out that um, the first one, with Fergie. It might have had boom, boom, boom on there. That was the one. Yeah, <laughs> it might have been. That he supported one. it. He put that twelve weeks yeah. on the charts. That's what it was. No, it wasn't for that song. They had a couple joints on there though. Yes, they did. Yeah, but I can't remember. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Um, must no, have not listen. been that good of joints if you can't remember. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It was I'm a long time ago. <laughs> what's, I'm, what's, I'm fucking with y'all. I can't remember shit that from was, yesterday. That was like 08, 08 09? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That was a, a long ass time ago. That was. Uh, l- l- let's, get back, let's get back to a little nice X though, okay? Because <clears throat> I'm getting kind of tired of these up here, all right? <laughs> I, I am, man. And his, his EP will, debuted at number two. On the Hot 200, I think. Oh, I thought he said his debut did like number eight or something. But I could have been reading something else. Maybe that was uh, something else I was reading. Uh, but, uh, so, okay. Listen. It, every Everybody that was up there that goes past this point, at this point in time, the song becomes annoying as shit. Yeah. All right? Lose Yourself, when I first heard it, fucking masterpiece. Mm-hmm. The last time that I heard it before it like finally died off, I fucking hated it. I still don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you still don't want to hear it? No. If it plays every so often, I'm like, oh yeah, that was that that was that shit when it came out. But at the time period, I was like, turn this fucking song off. Yeah, I'm about there with much. this one. Like if I if you know, if I go I want to hear Rodeo and Panini, I don't want to hear Old Town Road. <laughs> they it's like they can't move over into a different song because the, see, this is what happens when you have a song like this, dog, that just is massive like this. You'll never be able to, like, top it. You can't even, like, no. move out of it. It's just there until everybody fucking <laughs> hates you. It's, I'm telling you. Know, you. you know, I think maybe the biggest song that everyone loved, and you're like, if I hear it one more time, I'm losing my shit. Thong song. Even more so than that. It was mm. a big song. It was, but this one, I guarantee this song gets on your nerves now. What? Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Who? Oh, 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 oh. Who Let bro. the Dogs Out was one of those songs that. 
don't know why they put it in movies. They put the shit everywhere. Or fucking everywhere. Uh, uh, was it I'm sexy or how was it I'm something? I know it was that one. Yeah, shit. I'm sexy. I know. Yeah, it. I'm sexy. I don't know it. Yeah. And they played the fuck out of that. They played the fuck out of that. And then that, that one that, that um like, turn that shit off. Whoop, whoop and scoundrel kind of style. <laughs> we talked about you that. Love, one. You we actually whoop, love whoop, that one. Whoop, whoop. I remember catching you doing that dance. At, I don't even know how to do that dance, but I remember that. You said you can picture that. No, I'm just, <laughs> that was a song that, like, after a while, I was just like, "All right, I feel you. chill." Enough. Damn, <laughs> enough is enough. Yeah, I don't know what, what they say. What, what other uh, what other records is coming next? If he goes next week, There's no, the, that is the record, right? Is, do, they, yeah. are, do they got like do they got like stream machines? I think it's social media. People get a kick out of this shit, and then it's. But what are they like? What is it? Is, are they counting like YouTube views? Are, um, what are they counting at this point? Are everything just, now. Are people just picking the song and just playing it. For for the record, uh, Gangnam Style by Psy has three point three billion views. Right, it's one of the most viewed videos yeah. on YouTube. But <laughs> I think he's. I think it is the most viewed video on YouTube. I believe it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, I'm just saying, though, this Old Town Road, are people just like literally just going into their app and just like, I'm listening to Old Town Road for the 17th time. Today. I also think like, that, <laughs> I think you also have to thank kids Need it again. Yeah, Kids love this song. Kids so really, kids just, kids really kids love kids this song. Kids just hitting the app. Mom, I want your Old Town Road. Mom, I want your Old Town Road. Over and over. Play it again. Play it again. I don't want to fucking hear it again. No, let's just think about it. I can see now. You Mom probably got to a gun out. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no. Think about how many kids running jumps around out the, just, unbuckles and jumps out. Hey, oh, my, just out of movies. Exactly. <laughs> Mom's jumping out of minivans all over America. <laughs> just tumble rolls and shit. She just does like a professional stunt oh, person. Just tumble shit. roll around the car. Just keep going. Funny. Kids running around. Hey, Alexa, play Old Town Road. Off a cliff. <laughs> Old Town Road. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Let that song go, y'all. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. But man, shout out, shout out to Lil Nas X though, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if it happens, if he, what what if he says like the standard like 20 weeks or some shit like that? That's gonna be like crazy. the they breaks like the new like record. Yeah, of like, all time. like yeah. And it's what like, is the record? Do you do you got that data? I, I didn't look, but I'm just thinking that Sweetie put out when he said, "Oh, it's the year such and such." Old Town Road's been number one for like 1,256 weeks. Oh my god! You know what we're talking about? And he's like, I'm like, it's, it's gonna end up that way. Oh, yeah, at that point I probably will take the gun. It's just, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just we're, in a, we're just gonna throw a mass uh, suicide party. Like we'll just we'll just we'll, all of us will come with our guns. And be like, all right, guys, y'all ready? Watch. <laughs> just play this on one last time. <laughs> one last time, <laughs> y'all. One well, last ride. <laughs> you know, how sick you is gonna be when this gets. We can't no more. Hey, you know, how sick you is gonna be when this gets performed at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Oh shit! This shit is you just you just literally like just upset my soul just now because I know this I can't is gonna be, I already that's know gonna gonna, be, that's I already good. know they're gonna do it yeah with Bruno Mars just dancing with him and shit, oh, shit. doing his like pop version of this shit you know what I'm saying God, Bruno Mars just dancing on the stage all right. <laughs> he's like twenty four Kevin magic in the air and then it just goes right into Old Town Road Old Town I got Road the horses oh, shit. <laughs> I got the horses in the bed. Um, uh, let's move on, man. I'm upset. Please, let's let's move on. Uh, let's move on. The screen's falling, man. You know it's that time of the uh, podcast. <laughs> screen's falling down. What's going on, with Marvel, man? I haven't really been hearing uh, too much from Marvel ever since uh they, they well, uh, couple. So uh, Spider Man's out. Showtime started tonight. Yeah. Oh, did it? Yeah. At midnight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to look. Um, have you seen it already? No, not yet. Oh, this shit starts tonight. Yeah, it just starts tonight, like midnight. Damn, it's Monday. I know. The fuck? I think they wanted to get out ahead of the 4th of July holiday. Yeah. Because 4th of July is on a Thursday. I think they wanted to get ahead of that. So, Because, you know, a lot of stuff comes out like midnight on Thursday. I think they wanted to be on this side of that. So people can go Wednesday, go Thursday when people are off. And then you have the weekend, too. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Everybody ain't off on 4th of July, are they? Nah. No. A lot of people, but not everybody. Little niggas at the movie theaters be working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People are always at the movie theater. Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, theater's it's, always open. They draw a line at 4th of July. Uh, No, excuse me. That's Independence Day. Sorry. And Christmas but is actually... They that. make that like a movie day. There'll be certain movies like, yeah, Christmas. 
That's true. What do yeah. you think about it? 4th of July weekend's always been like big. That used to belong to Will Smith, but who? It did. Fun it fact did. for uh, Screens Fallen. Aladdin is now his highest grossing film. It passed I seen Day. that. I seen that. He passed Independence I'm Day. not surprised because of what it is. But I'm surprised. Good for you, Will. Good for you. <laughs> I'm surprised because his movies don't... When you actually look at all his movies, they don't really gross that much. No. You know what I'm saying? They're not like super high grossing two, a billion dollar, two billion dollar movies. You know what I'm saying? He, never, he hasn't really had them. They like rocked the world for like a month and a half. And they, right. That's he's, he's no Denzel. Oh, see, nigga, Denzel ain't do it. No, <laughs> let me tell you something. Denzel, none of Denzel movies do clear five hundred million ever. Yeah. Training Day, excuse me. Go. I wish we could look it up right now. Are you, okay, I, I'm gonna man. hate if I'm wrong. You gonna be mad as hell when you see Training Day only did like ninety million. I'm like, no. <laughs> probably did like three hundred, maybe maybe three hundred million. You jumped up from ninety to three hundred. I say, I'll say, real talk, real guess. Yeah. I'll say probably like I'd say three hundred. I say probably two two sixty nine. No, one ninety. One one hundred ninety million. Training what, day less, huh? <laughs> Did seventy Some million? Like seventy. 70 million. Training day ultimately grows seventy six million oh, in the U.S. Shit. and one hundred five worldwide. Okay, all right, uh, there we go. Breaks my heart. All right. Nobody's checking for that bullshit. But you watch but you know that, the reason why. You know, but what was that rated though? It's because it was rated R. You love yeah. that R. That's how I was about ah, to that's true. That's true. Uh, but what Deadpool, family, but Deadpool did seven hundred million. Yeah. Well, you got that's a different breed. That's a different family. breed. Yeah, it's you, rated R. That's you have people gonna take breed. kids to that movie. They're not taking kids. John to Wick did what? Just saying. It's a different. Just time. It's a different time. All right. <laughs> Just a different time. Fucking different time. Movie, okay. movie tickets Bullshit. went up also. Everything Bullshit. changed. Go look up Die Hard. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Okay. You look up all these radar movies that did fucking numbers. They did numbers. Denzel ain't out here like that, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay? Man, it's not the box office draw that y'all think he is. AW, y'all please. fucking love uh, Trading yeah, Day so slander, damn this, much. This slander needs to cease. Yo, y'all love <laughs> Trading Day so fucking much. Look, look. His highest grossing movie is American Gangster. All right. What's that like? Okay, listen. I I, I guess it. Like 160. Uh, worldwide was just shy of 300. Okay. All right. That wasn't bad. That's thanks, a good movie. Thanks to Hove. Thanks to Hovey. That's not true. Thanks That's to, not true. That's thanks not to true. the soundtrack. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sell movie tickets. That, that, that to, sells soundtrack. Thanks That's to, what that does. Thanks to Hovey Baby dropping Blue Magic. All right, just saying. No Jay Z, no three hundred mil. Get out of here! Get out of here with that. Thanks to Ti starring in the movie for two seconds. Let's move on, man. Um, so Ant Man, I, I have Marvel on there. Salma Hayek may be entering the MCU. No, yeah. okay, as an I'm internal or something. Yes, that's how I feel. Perfectly fine with this. Oh, so you have a lot of grown ass niggas playing the Eternals. Some grown women maybe entering the MCU. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, Selma Hayek, okay. Angelina Jolie, Angelina Jolie, some grown ass niggas. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's grown ass women. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm, that's that's dope, man. I, I like yeah, to see. It's not the, official yet, but hey, all right. I it's gonna be a different that. kind of movie with some of these actors they're bringing in here. But I'm fine with it. Yeah. Yeah, bringing the bringing the triple OGs. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, what's this right here? Twenty. This is so that's uh that's the new deficit. So remember, we got the the re release of Endgame. How long are they going to have? Because they out? were forty five million away. So when are they re releasing it? I already did. It was this past weekend. <laughs> did you see it? No. So you didn't well, go. Damn, so you didn't even go. You didn't I said go. I know. I said I was going to go. Because like, Reefa, Reefa spoiled it, right? Go. He yeah. ruined it. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little let, like so disappointed. Hey, yeah. No, so I, I just look, think, I just googled it. I so you know what happened also, right? I do too. Like, and it, it's not what I thought. <laughs> it's you, not, you didn't see it, but at the same time, it's not worth it. It, it wasn't worth paying for. <laughs> it's not worth it. But I mean, you it. also pay because you're seeing it again too. You're right. Take, yeah, that, into, take that into here's what too. really deterred. I actually me. watched so, it the other day. Again. I was a little, I was a little sad after after what Reefa did to me. I didn't know if I wanted to go. I was like, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. He said, I was a little sad. I was like, I, I'm nah. gonna go. I enjoyed that movie, but when I pulled it up, they only had it on the regular screens. Oh man, not XD or IMAX. They didn't do it justice. No, I mean, you know, they you... were still giving that to the new movies. I'm like, nope, I'm not going on a regular screen. Oh, you just gotta have the XD. Spoiled. We saw that fight in XD, and I was like, I need to see it at least that again. 
Okay. I wanted to go really do IMAX. You could have done IMAX. Is you in the same city with the IMAX? No, they didn't have it on there. They just only oh, had it on so regular old. screens. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, mm, I'm not gonna go. But they knocked. So that that made what 19 million. So 26. So how, so how long is that out? Gonna be out on TV? I don't know. <laughs> they listen because I thought that they're oh, at first I was hearing that they were gonna take it off before Spider Man dropped just so it wouldn't hurt Spider Man sales and stuff like that. Also, it's Spider-Man. not. It's not. It's definitely gonna hurt Spider Man. Showing, yeah. At this point, if there's somebody that goes and watch Spider Man, it, it actually they might help. It, regardless, yeah. it might actually help in game if they go and watch Spider Man. They're like, damn, I feel like I missed some shit, and they go back and watch in game. And you might get some people want to go be at the movie theater all damn day. Yeah, Let's watch, go watch back Endgame, to back. Then go to Spider Man. Yeah, <laughs> movie theater for six and a half hours. Back to back movie goers. Right, right. Um, dying in the theater. But... Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Well, damn. We'll see. We'll ruin it yeah, for him here in a little while after the episode. We'll tell Ru- ruin it for me? Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. God damn, stop. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened just because it's not worth it. <laughs> it, really, it really is not worth it. Okay, man. Let's let's move on to uh, the culture. Chance the Rapper is on here. Chance the Rapper is on there. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, is it because he dropped the two mixtapes? They got yes, coming to the, streaming services. Yes, That's yeah, they uh, they hit the streaming Ten services. Ten day and acid rap, right? Which acid rap was cool. I liked. Uh, well, they're both actually pretty cool, cool projects. You know what I'm saying I'm all for people's uh, older tapes and stuff getting on the streaming services. Makes it easier. <laughs> well, they just can't do it for everybody because the sample clearances and shit. Clear the samples, yeah. you know? just, it, just it, clear. it don't work like clear that. the samples. It don't work like that. Clear. Can't just be out here like. Just clear. Oh, damn. This shit sounds real good. I'm going to take this Nina Simone. I'm just going to put it on my album and then sell it. <laughs> and then Nina Simone. Uh, and getting her cut. Yeah. Nina Simone's estate not getting the cut. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's, it, this this is this is almost why I kind of feel like that 09 to 2011 era was one of the best areas mm-hmm. because they put out so much quality shit for free during that time period. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of super high quality shit. Right. A lot of it was samples. You know what I'm saying? And now those are like the new classics. A lot of them are coming up on their 10 year mark. You're trying to put them on the streaming service. They're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I didn't have those cleared. <laughs> you ever heard the Swang song, but from Trey? Yeah. The one with the Michael Jackson sample? Yeah. Fire. Can't find that shit nowhere. No, no. Okay. YouTube. You might be able to find it on YouTube. I barely could find it on I don't even know if I did find it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just... You just better hope you had it. <laughs> you know what? Let and me contradict myself. You can't clear all the samples. Because you get what I played for you earlier. What was that? Amazing, iconic song. What could have been a great sample. Wasted. Right. Wasted on right. Chris Brown's album. <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Wasted. Who? Who's responsible for this? I need to know. I need to know. You looking at the producer? No, I'm looking at the name of the song. Sorry Enough is the name of the song. Yo, yo. It's somewhere in the middle of that 59 track album. Wait, who wait. is responsible for this? Just just keep talking. I'm going to find out who this fucking producer is. It listen. So for those who haven't listened, it just I don't I don't even want to tell you what the sample is. I just want you to listen to it for yourself. <laughs> you will not disagree with me that this is a great iconic track, could be a great sample, doesn't make sense on this song. It sounds like they took the singing and they took what he was doing and just played it over top of that original one. And I don't get it. And, I norm- and I'm not hating on Chris Brown. I like Chris Brown. I like a lot of his music. But this ain't it, bro. <laughs> this wasn't it. Buddy. This ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, bro. So you don't... So you don't... Um, Cassie got a new song? Uh, so you don't like... Um, you, you don't like the, the blend. What was the song called again? Sorry Enough, I think. Sorry Enough. God, you said, you, you you said it was, the song was Sorry? Yes, <laughs> that song was sorry enough. I just don't get it on that. Like, it doesn't even sound right. Uh, no, it doesn't sound right. That's probably You're not sorry enough. You Chris, did this. Oh, shit. And Produ- put it on the album. Producer uh, Christian Hit and Make Award and Los de Maestro. Mm-hmm. Wow. Composer. Okay, so this, of course they're going to, they, they got to put all of the, um, say, since they sampled it. Mm-hmm. They got to put all the writers that was on the original. You had 216 tracks, and you couldn't leave this one off. This one says Terrius Nash on here. You know who Terrius Nash is, right? He ain't sign off on this. 
Do, do y'all know who Terry Nash is? Maybe, maybe not. No. Take a wild guess. Depends depends on who's that. That's the dream. That's the dream? That's the dream? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. The dream did not do this. He wrote some of the song. Okay, I'm, I'm can hear that. My issue is not with the lyrics and the singing. <clears throat> My issue is with you, so what they did to this beat. So you just don't like the fact that they used the sample? Not on this one. It just doesn't work. It's weird. It's, it's definitely weird. If they had weird. used it in a different way, I'd have been fine. Well, I'm not saying the song can't be touched. This was just weird to me. And when I heard it, I said, what the hell have y'all done? Chris Brown has definitely been in that in that world of, I'm going to sample 90s, 90s shit. You know, it's not really nice. It's kind They'd of like sampled early it differently. It might have worked better. I was like, this just didn't. Man, listen, like, you know what it is, bro? Like, it really upsets me, though, because when I, okay, when I was younger, when I used to listen to rap and all that, the stuff that sounded like, that I liked was when they would sample shit from like the 70s, 80s. You know what I'm saying? Shit from before our time. Right, right. Oh, I yeah. always thought that shit sounded dope. Yeah, they made it. You know, too, I was like, they made it sound better. Right, but I w- I remember people that were older that were like, "Don't touch our shit." Yeah, you don't know. You're, you're fucking up a good classic. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't understand. I was like, "Shut up!" You well, know what I'm saying? The twist on it. Hip hop sample shit. Back the fuck up. Now, I'm seeing Chris Brown do a lot of this shit too because he got a, a song on the radio. Yeah, yeah. Right, and I was just like, bro. Get your filthy fucking hands off of that. See, and I'm yeah. not even saying you shouldn't assemble. This just this the execution. <clears throat> well, I can't even see how this sounded good in the studio. I, I get it. Because when you're hearing that kicking in those speakers mm. and then him singing over, I can see why in the studio it maybe sounded better than it does on so far I can vouch for a TV, phone, car. No <laughs> shit. I think oh, what man. it is they were they were trying to go for was that was that blend vibe. It did, you know what I'm saying? Where where you at the you know, you're at the Club and the DJs, or even like the radio DJs, where they you know they got like two songs going, and they exactly just what it sounded own. like. It, it it did sound like that. Some people will like it, some people will definitely not like that shit. I'm sure the the whatever the Chris Brown stands is gonna come and kill him, but that's fine. No, yeah. that's what Chris Chris Brown stands is gonna love that shit. They, they will. Oh, yeah. oh my god, he used this the beat fill in the blank beat. I'm not, I don't want to ruin it for nobody. I want y'all to just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> fill in the blank beat, right? And that uh, right. rant was brought to you by Black Tide. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the Todd is pissed at get, get, get it off his chest. Todd is mad as hell. <laughs> right. Uh let's let's talk about intro. the <laughs> have a little intro for that. Let's talk about the twenty twenty four Olympics. I I mean to get that worked up. I just yeah. oh, he is it turned. <laughs> he is turned. I was just like, why who did this? All right, what I had twenty twenty four on here. So I was reading an article. And it said that, where did that shit go? That Lil Nas X will be performing at the Olympics. <laughs> Breakdancing is provisionally approved for the 2024 Olympics. Breakdancing. Oh, okay. For, the, for what? So, let's see. The, the gymnast the, shit? The Olympic Committee, um, I think this is for the ones that be in Paris. There's going to be a final decision in December 2020. Oh, shit. They're about Whatever. to make some motherfuckers mad. Yeah, but uh, people have been. There's been a lot of stuff people wanted to put in Olympics, skateboarding, and oh, yeah. stuff like that. But I'm like, I'm here for. Oh, shit. skateboarding would be pretty dope. Why don't they put that in? They there? should. That's a that's a really hard fucking yeah. It's very skill. Hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> motherfuckers be out here get fucked up on that shit. Fuck yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Complete but yeah, snowboarding. artificial bones and shit. Like I made out of out of steel because they break so many fucking bones and you shit. You ever seen um? You ever seen a... They used to have a show on MTV. Oh, hold up. Uh, it was like Snapped. Or, well, yeah. Where they, but it was a where Snapped. It was just them ba- breaking shit. Oh, man. Yes. That shit was gruesome. I'll never forget this one that I seen where this kid... They they found a wall. And the wall had like a piece of concrete that kind of went up like a slide almost. Yeah. Up into the wall. Right? But it was like maybe, maybe three inches wide. Maybe like... Like yeah, that, yeah. but if you went up this, you could get up on the wall. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So this kid is like going like full speed, He's trying to hit it perfect with on his bicycle, full speed. But he ju- he just misses it. He doesn't even he doesn't even hit it, and so then he runs right into the wall, like boom, and he's just like, and you can just see him. He just fucked, and I was just like, all right, dog, like, like what are you doing? <sighs> Those guys are tough. Was it worth it? Those dudes are tough, man. Fuck yeah. 
Was it worth it? It definitely wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it, but he learned something that day. (laughs) (laughs) Work at it, get better. (laughs) Did he learn something that day? Yeah, Yeah, don't do that again. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You need a wider range to put your bike. Leave that to somebody else. He was really trying to get his bicycle wheel over, like in between, like a three to four inch, like space. He had it perfect, full speed. You know what I'm saying? Just wasn't gonna happen. You ever see like the the ones guys in like the X Games and stuff? They lose their board or their bike in midair. Right. Oh yeah. And it's fall like hundreds of feet. Yeah, bro. Like, that one dude almost died some years back. Like remember he hit it and this like his helmet exploded. His shoes flew off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy, bro. X Good Games Lord. is wild. No, they should definitely they should definitely include like some new shit into the Olympics. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. Just bring some of that. But shit there was stuff a couple other things there, but I was like, I'm not against it. I know. Some people don't like change. They want to keep it. Ugh, keep it traditional. We're going to run and throw discus only. Fuck tradition. <laughs> We're gonna pull what have you ever seen a nigga in the hood take, taking that that little piece of uh, that big ass hockey puck and then sliding it in niggas? Come on. Like, Curling? Rubbing it. What, is, what do you call that Curling? shit? Curling? Yeah. What, what have you ever seen that in the hood? Don't nobody do that shit. I've never seen this shit. You gotta go to the fucking Swiss Alps. You gotta go to, Alps, I, gotta go like to the that. ice rink. Like, well, well, yeah, you know where, where, where do they do that? There's no ice rinks in the hood. That's why. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, shit. The block is hot. It's because the it's block a, is hot. Just imagine like <laughs> niggas in the hood like practicing doing this. They shit. might be we going to the Olympics, homie. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're training. <laughs> people have been surprised many a time where they're like, "What the hell? Where right. black people come from? Oh yeah, I know. Why are they good at this? Oh yeah, I know. They popping up on soccer teams. They, you know. That's a couple true. of them started getting into hockey. You got a black NASCAR a, driver, yeah, right? There's there's a dude in, in, in hockey. They be and they be racing and shit to him too. He don't even be doing and that. He's, and he's good. But yeah, they, yeah. Right, they be terrible. You know they be, you know he just be, be sitting there to... just chilling, like and they're like, "Fucking they, nigger!" They, they're constantly <laughs> Get trying the to fuck check out. him. They always want to check him and shit against right. the wall and shit. Constantly <laughs> try to fight him. Like, oh, it's my chance. <laughs> Where'd you learn to play hockey, Blackie? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Not from us. <laughs> But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to, shout out to black uh, athletes. Um, let's move on to the elders, man. Missy Elliott, a fucking queen. Mm-hmm. Birthday was that today or was that it's yesterday? Today. It's today, today, right? Today, she Monday, forty eight years old. Monday the first. Forty eight years old. She does look amazing, man. She looks just very smooth skin. Hair, hair, silky smooth skin. Yeah, man. I I miss Missy, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to drop some new shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. Uh, I'm, I miss her. I wanted to take it back, too. To, like, like classic. Well, she's actually, I was going to take it back. I was like, well, I was going to say take it back. And I was like, classic, like, give us something new. And I was like, well, hey, that's every album. <laughs> We're going to get a project that's every album. Yeah. We will. It's, it's funny when uh, I saw some there asking, oh, you know, you look so good. What have you been doing? And she gave the exact answer you don't want to hear. She's like, oh, yeah, just drink a gallon of water and stop eating bread. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> Two things I can't live without. <laughs> well, good for you. <laughs> no, but, yeah, good for you, Missy. Water. <laughs> a gallon, a whole gallon. I, 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 probably, I probably do that, so. I mean, I drink a lot of water, bro, but, I, but I, I ate a lot of gallon, bread. But I, I ate a lot of bread, so I tried the gallon, but I thought I was gonna drown. I can't do a gallon in a day, man. I can but do I, that. I definitely drink. I definitely drink a lot of water. You know what I drink a shit lot of water. Around here in the summertime, you can't help it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like not even, not even worth. That's it. all your thing for me. <laughs> okay, water. <laughs> okay, damn. So I got good skin, <laughs> and, the, and it rubs the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Missy, man. Um, and shout out to shout out to Water. Okay, <laughs> all year long. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, man. We still getting some reviews. We don't got nothing else, right? Uh, slow news week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, that's like, it. That's it. Came across anything I else? Even, I don't even have reviews. I was saying they didn't drop. I really don't like. <laughs> They dropped again. We talked about this at this point last year. <laughs> like you double check. We had this exact conversation so at this time list. last year. We said, "Please." We asked nicely. We did. Please don't do this to us. <laughs> well, don't see, everyone drop all at once. I didn't listen to everything because they said they said fuck you, Todd. So mustard. I didn't. Re- I, I mean, I listened to mustard, but it was kind of like a one a yeah, one listen I for me. That's how I felt. That's what I kind of did. Because for mustard is more of like a like a party like party mix. You know what I'm saying? So, Ten tracks. 
Yeah, I, I'm not like expecting. They're pretty good party tracks. No, they're, they're definitely, definitely good, good party, party tracks. tracks it's to play definitely in the a good background. album you could just have playing. Yeah, in the background. Yeah, in the background, party, whatever. I barbecuing just barbecuing and shit, just having the background. I'm not looking for anything to like particularly blow my mind or like to make me go, damn. I'm looking at life in a completely different in a different <laughs> perspective. It's just not life good changing. Party music. Yeah, yeah. Good, good music for. Uh, some Fourth of, the pool of July. Parties. Fourth of July. Play on Fourth of July. Definitely, definitely perfect for Fourth of July. Uh, he called it Perfect Ten. I don't know why. Because they're not, they're not perfect. Yeah, it's not. It's a, like the three album or four does not getting a like, ten. <laughs> all right, but, um, but he definitely felt like he had ten perfect tracks. So. Yeah. Was this was this your, confident? Your album, was this album your jam? That's all right. Is all right? Nothing, not nothing on that list really moved me this week. Nothing. Nothing moved you. You listen to all these? Not Wi Fi. I didn't get. I forgot about him. Well, that wouldn't have moved you. Nah, nothing else moved you. Chris Brown. Chris Brown moved. Let me you. Tell you of course. Something. Of course. By the time I got to the end of that, I was like, bro, enough. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm trying to like, say. I got like most of the way done. I was like, look, I'm 24 deep. I feel like oh, I, I have to finish it. I didn't touch. But I'm shit. like, okay, again, that didn't do nothing for me. Um, for the for the R and B people Daniel out there, Daniel Caesar dropped his. I had to give that another listen. There's a couple tracks I liked at first, but that's after listening to that one again because it's not really like just background stuff. But um, mm, yeah, that one on there, Oasis, that was uh J Balvin and Bad Bunny. That's Reefus, you know, his Reefus flex right there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even check that. Yeah, I, I'm not looking. I'm not, I'm not looking to listen to that. <laughs> Why? There's a couple good ones on there, man. Why? They're really. <laughs> Por qué no? <laughs> There's I'm a saying, like, I, like I'm Spanish. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Por qué? Por qué no? <laughs> Porque no quiero. <laughs> There's a couple good ones on there, man. That's why I'm. Tu no quiero. Tu no quiero. I'm tu saying no you're wrong. Yeah. Tu no quieres. No. <laughs> he said no. No. There's a couple. Uh, good hey, ones hey. The, 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 I'm, I'm gonna give the. I'm gonna give the international answer. Like no. everyone understands. No. No. <laughs> no. You got hit with this. No. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah. what, what else is on there? No, no. Uh, <laughs> so you were fucking with two player? That I shit. That, that I shit was way that. two player. Oh my player. god, that shit bang! Like as soon as I heard, I was like, man, that shit. I almost got no, like one, a fucking southern rap track. tier. I listened to one track. I said, oh, I have to remember to come back. I honestly I felt like we're back. Yeah, it's the return. We're gonna take over again. <laughs> <laughs> It's the begin- It's the forefront of the South. It's the return rise. of the ever ho. <laughs> the rise of the South. Yeah. The- no, no, I liked it, man. I I really liked that shit. That shit went hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt like it was made for me. So yeah, it was definitely made for me too. I was yeah. like, all right. I I feel like I slept on that, and I I feel bad about that. Yeah. Big Sign and Red Coat the player. The album is called, or oh, the little EP is like six or seven tracks. Yeah, it's called Two, two player. player. It's a quick listen. I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta go check it out. Cover Big looks Sign. like Contra. You yeah, uh, Big Sign has been known to hang around Big Crit, so uh, it's in that definitely in that same ilk. You know what I'm saying? I think they're I think they're both from Mississippi too. We we're talking about it earlier. We we're saying how one's like Big Crit's bigger brother, and the other one's his little brother. <laughs> Red called the poet. I was like his little, little brother. Yeah. It's like Big Crit's little brother for real, yeah. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. I, <laughs> I like it, man. It was it was, it was fire. I like the beats. It was all good samples. Uh, I like the shit. Big Big Sean was like, "Ain't you, ain't you tired of the game? They've been, they've been, they've been sold to you." You know what I'm saying? For real though. And I was just like, "Damn, he's right. It's been a lot of bullshit out there." You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a lot was of very, bullshit. It was very uh, refreshing to hear something that actually went hard. It was hella refreshing. Shouts out to them. I'm yeah, tag. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tweet them later on. And you know what? I'm jamming the fuck out of that album. Yeah, or EP, that's definitely whatever. went into my like multiple playlist. I won't say both of the but you know how like you got like a you bring like album into your like permanent rotation throughout life. It's in my no. permanent rotation throughout life. No. From now on. I'll, you know I'll be listening to that shit on a regular. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to them. Uh I <laughs> listen, I listened to Valet. Um I wasn't really feeling it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they signed the good music, right? He's been signing the good music for a while. This project. Are you sure it wasn't? Are you sure it wasn't signed to mediocre music? Oh, <sighs> shots fired! Oh shit! Shots fired. I, wish that, shit. I wish that I had like I had like 
the 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 the, the like the CGC, cause shit. I would have like fire flaming across the whole screen the whole time. <laughs> um, Man, no, listen, was... I actually liked the first track. Right, it was promising at that point. It was it was very promising because he, thinking, he, okay, he yeah. actually kind of got some slick lines. You know what yes, I'm saying? Like when you think about every him, once in a while, he does throughout the whole thing. Every yeah. once in a while, he still does. Not just like, like every once in a while. Now he dial less. What did he say? Like a Maverick. He said something about being on his phone. He said, "I dial less." Another, yeah, yeah. He said, "I dial less," <laughs> like, like, like a Maverick or something, something like yeah. that. Something. He said, so he had I some like, slick lines. Right, I can and, see. And, like I said, throughout the you know whole what I'm thing, saying? he had a few slick lines. There yeah, there's a like, okay, that was, uh, but it's just he did it, but just sounds. He actually boring. He, he, he sat. He he sounded bored. Yeah. On a few tracks, where I felt like I was like, that's not helping me get into this. Like I'm getting bored yeah. hearing your boredness. That's how it felt on some tracks. <laughs> and then Vic Mensa came on on one track, and he was like, Ugh, like trying to rap like him. And I was like, no. I was all like, are y'all both bored in the studio <laughs> together? Like, what like, is going on? I was like, why are you doing this? <laughs> you see how much nobody shit asked there? you for this. No, Vic. no one wanted this. <laughs> You see how much shit they were giving him the last two weeks because of his dog? Who? Valet. The last two mm. weeks they've been giving him hell. Because of the dog? Because he died at Red. Who died? No, no he, he died, died his dog, the Red. The dog, Red, on the cover. The one on the, the cover. cover. He actually died the dog, Red? Yeah. That's not no That's like not CG, CG shit. It's not. No. I went to Photoshop. He did the Photoshop. He could have, but he Why he died in the dog, Red? Up. People like fucking with. I hate people do this shit to dogs. People. Okay, listen. <laughs> Dogs, dogs don't want to be dyed red. No, <laughs> they actually don't want to wear those fucking clothes either, or those hats. They really don't want to wear none of that shit. They fucking hate that shit. You ever see the dog? You ever see somebody put the fucking shirt on the dog? This thing could be like, like he's trying to tear it off, and then he just every dog does it where he sits for like maybe thirty seconds, and he just looks at you and, and it looks sad. It's just, it's it's just like, yo, what the I fuck? Swear, I swear, I hear <laughs> in the arms of an I hear that commercial like right. when I, they look at you like. Off of me, take this please. bullshit off of me, dog. Please. And then they look over at the person who put it on them, and they're just like, <laughs> they just look, and they look back at you like, yeah, they did this, but can yeah. you take it off? Because they won't. I like, can't believe you put this fucking bullshit. No dog likes that shit. Yeah. All right. I just hear sad music when I when yeah. I see their face. Yeah. They're just like, because so they, they they're like try for a second, then they just sit and just go. Like, you know what? I gotta just. I gotta you ever see dogs do that? Like you know what I'm saying? struggling. They just like, like just lay down and do that part. Like <laughs> it's gonna stay on. Fuck it. Fucking dog hates his life. Dog. All right. Stop taking pictures of me, <laughs> motherfucker. Pissed off. Listen, he doesn't I don't need want a to... memory of this bitch. It's stuck on me, motherfucker. They don't but... want to be dyed red either, dog. They fucking. No. They, they don't want you to do that shit. All they want to do is be a dog. And they want to frolic around. They want to play in the fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? They it's don't fucking cruelty to human, animals, huh? Human shit that we do, dog. They don't care about that shit. <sighs> Dad, this fucking dog red. Is that even safe for the fucking dog? It's cruelty they to were animals. Giving him hell, <laughs> dog. Why would you do that? You kick my dog, fucker. <laughs> now I've seen all these Friday lines. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you are. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I did not know he. I'm looking. I'm looking at it now just to kind of to see. Uh, see, I thought that he that he he really dyed this dog he red, did. bro. Yeah. Well, isn't the target dog have the? Then they spray that that red dot on it, like the. That's true. They did the same shit. They did the same thing, but they didn't give them no shit. Is uh-huh. it because it was a part only? Because it was like a spot for the. I don't know. That's funny. He didn't that, even shit that shit ain't good either, though. Yeah, he didn't even tweet it. He said, this is edible vegan dye. No chemicals. Edible vegan dye. No chemicals. That doesn't sound good either. Because why you got to... Why it got to be so edible? Much shit. No, it's edible vegan dye? That's what he said. I mean, because people... Peter's going after him. People going after him. Somebody edited the FBI. He was like, really? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> edible vegan dye. When did the fuck they start making that shit? So this is you're, just gonna to, you're gonna have to talk to a vegan about that. So anybody can just lick the shit off. Or something? Well, he had people coming to his defense too, but it was. But is it last? Does like it rub off? So like if it's again. edible, like would it wipe off of the dog easily? I'm, I don't or know. I mean, I'm sure I've never heard of edible wash. vegan. Though. I'm sure it'll wash out or worse, grow out. I mean, is it obviously it's 
it's meant for like you can have what colored pancakes, you can make colored cake, shit like that, and the dye when you put it into the cake mix and shit like that. Oh, but, okay, like you want green eggs and ham. Yeah, there you go. See, so that's like what food it is. Coloring. But but <laughs> so you dye this dog with food coloring, basically, yeah. Know. Boy, you wildin'. You about to eat this nigga or what? That's what I said. Why would he, why would edible be in this? Like, there's a, it's a dog you're talking about. Why would it be in the fucking conversation? <laughs> edible. <laughs> that dog wow. would be sick as shit. That dog. That dog hey, about to get fucking cancer, hey, nigga. Hey, that dog has. <laughs> a, hey, that dog has the same look as the dogs wearing the clo- uh, the outfits and shit right now. That dog looking like this motherfucker painted me red. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like <laughs> the dogs. That, He's just like, oh, perfect for it. Now I'm covered. <laughs> just the fuck? Y'all gotta stop using dogs for this shit. Uh, poor dogs, man. Y'all could have just did somebody could have photoshopped that shit. Easily. Oh, come on, man. Um, Easily. That's just crazy. Uh but yeah, man, no, nah, it wasn't it wasn't that great of a <laughs> it, it was, just it wasn't. wasn't. Yeah. First time was was cool. It made me feel like it was gonna be good and then it just Yeah, yeah I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. I don't even think he's actually rapping at this point. I think he's just kinda going off the top of the head. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Did you listen to, to Wi-Fi, Wifey's funeral? Wi-Fi's? Yeah. No, you wasn't feeling not, it. Not feeling it. No. I'm surprised that you weren't feeling that. Why would you be surprised? He's not that bad of a rapper. He's a, he was actually kind of rapping on there. On um, at time uh, that uh, you know, I, I think when we we've listened to Wi-Fi before and we reviewed it. Yeah. And I said I wanted to hear more rap. The rapping part is not bad, but he, he gave the rapping part. It, Part they gave you some rapping on it's only yeah, said, there, there's some but it, it still was he that gave great. you some raps he gave me some auto tune too like like or some voice like I don't <laughs> let me ask you I, I, I do not feel that shit I, I didn't listen to it this is some voice yet. shit I was like nah I'm dead that one song is it run I think that's been like getting play is that that one's on this project right is it called run, run? Uh, I like that song who, who's on, is there anybody else on that song uh, let me look run that run are you talking about I think uh, that's the name of the song. Because there's a song that he got with uh, Juicy J that um, is actually done uh, pretty pretty uh, run. Did some numbers. Yeah, run is on here. Yeah, the first song. Okay, so how does the rest of it sound compared to that? Very similar. Fuck, it's only seven tracks. I listen to that while I'm driving. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not bad. It's just to me, it's just the only issue I got with it is just very like young. Kind of young minded. That's why I can't. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't. Play, like I can't get on like full in bed, fully invested. Or I don't know. Right, right. I mean, it's not like there's not like a lot of wisdom here. It's more of like a lot of let's just do drugs until until we pass out and probably die. Yeah. I was 21. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. This was kind of feels that's how like, I kind of feel. Yeah. That's how I and there's no telling. Him. I was like, yo, bro, you should slow down a little bit. He's like, no, fuck this. I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, I feel like I'd be the old head trying to like, man, you know, just slow it down a little bit, young blood. I didn't Come say stop now. doing it. I'm just saying pace yourself a little bit. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> Don't run into I the ground like I did. Stop. All right. Maybe like, do what you do. Maybe split nah. the pill in half. Shit. <laughs> be be yeah. responsible. Don't take all five. God be damn. Be responsible. Only take two and a half, <laughs> half <right>. that. You know? <laughs> You That's can make so this shit stretch out over a couple of weeks if you just chill a little bit. Goddamn. <laughs> Keep some money in your pocket. You got a future. Right. <laughs> you got to think about You got a future. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like an old head for real. Oh, shit. That's funny. Uh, split it in half. That's funny. Shut up. <laughs> Don't do the whole eight ball. Do like Jesus. half a gram. Jeez, shit. You never know when you'll need more. <laughs> what are you going to do when you run out? <laughs> oh, my God. That's fucking funny. You were leaving. That's like, what, <laughs> what did y'all do when y'all were young? Right, that's funny. Um, nah, man. Shout, shout out to uh, Drugs. To I know, no, I know. <laughs> Definitely shout out to Drugs. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Wifey's Dog. I, listen, I know Reefer, Reefer not fucking with it. Um, like I said, it's cool. I get it. It's you not. know, this is cool. It's just, it's just a little young yeah. for younger heads. You know, if you if you're like our age, you're probably. You're I was probably feeling like, the rapper. I was feeling that. Uh, he, it was, it was better. He's, than not, he a, he's not. He's not a, a bad, bad rapper. rapper. He's not a bad rapper. He's actually pretty he's decent. But it just, let's just, I don't know. Just wasn't. Ma- it's like when we talk about the two player. Sant and uh, you listen like, to two player made, first. Well, that's made for me. I feel like where that's something that I know is not made for me. You know okay, I, I can respect that. Um, if I had to give that on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it like a seven. Seven. Yeah, I'd have, I'd have gave it a six. Word. 
Um, I guess we went through everything else. The only the, the only thing that I listened to multiple times besides two player was definitely Freddie Gibbs. Were y'all were y'all checking yeah. it out? No. Yeah. That and Twister. Like I was jamming with like, <laughs> Twister and <laughs> two- Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, of course, from two players. Those what are like think? the three that I was jamming the fuck out of. What do you think about Freddie Gibbs? Freddie Gibbs? Yeah. That shit went hard. I like the I like production <clears throat> choice. He had some. I saw an interview where he was talking about it, and he was saying that all this, he was in a dark place when he made this, and and I can I can see that I can hear it in there. Like he's saying some shit that. From the interview, what he was saying, he was like, it was a lot of his past, you know, right? And you know, and that music saved his life. You know, he actually started crying in the interview about his homie that passed. That one of the people that kind of told Did him he to get come killed? back to Cali and shit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He didn't. He didn't talk about that. Oh, okay. I didn't look it up uh, yet. I was. I wanted to find out <clears> more because it really touched him. Like you could see, he's literally he's a down to. Pr- Earth person that don't care about shedding a tear talking about something. Kind of like Schoolboy Q when he was interviewing with Charlemagne of God. Right. And he's, you know, teared up and shit. Like, you know, that's real emotion. You, you know, when you see that, when I see that from somebody that, you know, they're just not putting on a front and trying to look tough, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got more respect for Freddie Gibbs now. Just right. based off of that interview. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, he makes you feel like he's just another person. He ain't, you know, where he, celebrities sometimes personify themselves like they're above you. You know what I'm saying? Or like they're they're on a different level. Where he he's like, I'm basically like I'm just like you I got these emotions. Uh, I'll break down talking about my homie that passed. You know what I'm saying? Just <clears throat> people that made a difference in his life because they he said basically they saved him because if they weren't for them like pushing him to come back to Cali to start rapping again, he would have who knows where he would have been, you know what I'm saying? And Right. And the music reflects that too. He talks about a lot of the shit that he, he was involved with. And it's a dope album. I was feeling that. That shit, it, to me, it was a, from the beginning to end, even with some craziness in between, like a little bit, some some funny, crazy shit. There's always some funny skits in here. Yeah. I like the whole. Uh, Obrigado? No, no, no. You know what I that like, means, right? It means. Um, um, it's Portuguese. It means thank you. Oh, I thought it was welcome. Um. But uh no, I like the uh the skit where he he's he's talking about fuck it Fridays. Fuck you Fridays. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> And then he says uh that's he's so funny. He was like, We gonna make it uh I do not I don't give a shit Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> Some shit. That if that's a real pastor, that motherfucker hey, that is funny as hey, shit. Hell yeah. I wouldn't mind checking him out just to see what the fuck he talking about. I know people about. don't like you see here pastors cussing shit, but he said I he, I, I'm not, I don't give a shit. He don't give a shit what nobody thinks of yeah. him. And he okay. said that you shouldn't give a shit either. Like when, when somebody says it, like I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I respected that though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, I was like, yeah, fuck them. You know what I mean? Shit. Um, but no, nah, man, this this was this was solid. I really liked uh, this track with Killer Mike and Pusha T. Fuck yeah, that shit went hard as fuck. Yeah, that like Pusha T came with it, <laughs> but when don't he come with the cocaine? No, he came with that. What did he say? Real bars. Um, the uh he said uh the 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 real bars come from come from uh from the real summit and then he said um the these scars <laughs> he he wear play that shit it's so fucking good it's something when they try to kill gods or something like yeah. it's Thanos. bananas it's Thanos yeah, yeah it's definitely Thanos, <laughs> it's Thanos. yeah he said you uh, can't kill me yeah you can't kill me um but these scars will show you that they tried they tried to kill a god you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. uh that was dope man um, he did not get dusted yeah and i really liked the hook from killer mike yeah it was yeah. it was a good hook man i i like this i like this man anderson pack is on here a, i wish i would got a killer mike verse though better I don't know, man. I, I kind I kind of like him set right there in the hook. No, right down that track. I could have, I could have, I could have had a, a killer Mike verse because you know he come with it too. He would have stepped it up too. Right. But it is good where it is. It is definitely it's it's to me that's like the minimum. I could have had a little bit more, but that's at least they gave me that, and that shit was good. Right. But, he is pretty introspective on here with like some of these tracks, like uh, situations, uh, the fake names. Uh, yeah, education, yeah. soul, right? 
Yeah, Black Thought is on here. He's killing it. Uh, he Most Def is it. on here too. <clears throat> okay, Yasin Bay. Um, mm-hmm. If y'all if y'all like that, that's the definitely track for that too. Mad Lib killed the beats on here, man. He did. He actually used the tr- the the, tr- the beat for uh, on Palm Palm Olive. Yeah. That beat is he he sampled. He took the same sample and used them two different times in two different places. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no joke. I think it was over here. the flat tummy tea. I think it was is a piece. That sample is another part of the song. The song and you just use it for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some more sample. Okay, I got dun, you. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe that's right. Yeah. Yeah. See, it all right. sounded like it was one song. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was that's a completely like, different song. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We all know that sample because yeah. it's just been used a hundred times. Millions of times. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 But shout out sample. Yeah, and then everything was going. <laughs> of course, you know, a fucking uh. I don't know, like, definitely I think those uh, education and uh, Palm Palm Olive stood out, but they all, it, like I said, it's a front to end, you know, like, you can hear that shit, and you won't have to skip shit, you don't. There's some shots being thrown at Jeezy. Yeah, there is. When yeah. I heard that shit, I was like, oh, shit. There's actually a shot thrown on, on Crime Page, I think. No, 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 was it that song? There's a song where he was basically, where he basically says, he, where he, wasn't really throwing shots at Jeezy per se. He was throwing no. shots at somebody that was sucking Jeezy's dick. No. And that sucking dick like literally, but like like yeah, I know like on know. his nuts or whatever. Yeah, Cause yeah, he he bought him some shoes or some shit like that. Yeah, like that yeah, I know they've been beefing, you know, ever since he left um Jeezy's label or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it seemed like it's still still pretty still there. Yeah, it's still still a little feelings are still there. I didn't get yeah. to finish reading the article, but did you see a thing that Madlib said he did the beats on the iPad? I did see that. He did the entire all the beats on on an okay. iPad. Yeah. Nice. Which is kind of crazy cuz that kind of get that kind of <laughs> like inspired me a little bit to start getting on beats. <laughs> it did. I'm not going to figure I was like and make my own goddamn beats. I right? got an iPad. <laughs> yeah, you can make your own beats and get on the mic. Bro, I fuck around and bullshit and tear shit up and Never know what the hell I'm doing. Damn it, man. Yeah. Now we'll get you on the track. If I could make my own beats and I, and I can make some fire beats, I probably would get back to rapping, dog. For real, for real. All like, right. You know we need to get, get him that app immediately. <laughs> Apple. Care. I got to find out what app you're using. Todd, Apple Care Todd, we need you to get that. Get on that ASAP. Yeah. Let us know what uh, software you're using, Mad Lip. Real talk. Yeah. But that's it, man. I mean, what, what you, I give this on a scale of one to ten, probably. I give this a eight and a half. Solid. Yeah, I kind of. We agree if you want to give it a 10. Nah, I was going to say about a 9. <laughs> 9? 9. I'll give it a 9. I, I didn't want to quite give it a 10 because, I mean, just... I wanted to give 2-player a 10. <laughs> 2 player is a perfect 10, bro. <laughs> to me, I was like, that's it's a who perfect I was, 10. I was like, when we first started talking about it, I was just like, and you are like, so what do you think? I was like, fuck yeah, there to me, it was a 10. I mean, I yeah. said that shit. I was like, that was a 10. Two player from Big Sun and Red Coat the Poet is a perfect 10. That's a perfect 10. That's, you a, that's a quick If, if a you're quick not from the from South, us. you're probably not going to agree with that. No, nah, you won't. But if you're from the South, you would like from... And from a, our era almost? Yeah, you like, kind of from our era, you'll agree that that shit is like a perfect 10. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that shit's a perfect 10 before mustard. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> it's just a perfect 10, no mustard. No mustard. No mustard. <laughs> No relish. So, <laughs> apparently, I'm doing relish some ketchup. That, relish that. <laughs> relish in there. <laughs> oh, how many niggas have made that ketchup line in a rap? So many. You better catch up. That means I get lettuce and I get bread and the cheese. Get but it? you can't cut the mustard. Get it? Get <laughs> cut the mustard. It's because you can't cut mustard. <laughs> And then the kid pops in right now and says, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you ain't like my rhymes? No, bitch! No, bitch! <laughs> oh, shit. I love uh, it. Oh, that's fucking funny. Real talk, funny. though, man. Uh, I got. I, we did a couple of reaction videos, and I, I do like the uh, the turnout from a lot of the uh, people that's popping up there. Yeah, we appreciate that. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, we appreciate everybody that, uh, that tuned in. Oh, yeah. uh, we usually have a little bit longer podcast, but this week we're coming a little short. Um... <clears throat> You think I, you got an, another reaction in you? Because I'm doing our last minute rounds here before we cut before we close. It's what, what? like your boy Rose dropped a track featuring Swiss Beats. Oh, word! And I think it said produced by Jess Blaze. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn, we might we might be dropping another. Well, we're gonna do another reaction, <laughs> not on the podcast, yeah, not on this one, but we'll uh, do another one. Real talk though, too. 
Uh, I do want to talk about. Um, we said we were going to do this on the on the podcast. We were going to talk about Bridge Brian's video. Have y'all watched it any any more times? I, I did actually, one more. Time. I actually have not got a chance. I have not. So uh, as I was watching it, I realized I kind of realized what was going on in the video. I watched mm-hmm. it a couple times. Uh, <laughs> I I I get what he's what he's doing. <clears throat> This I think that this house kind of represents like I don't want to say the old him, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But Rich m- Trigger, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, like this rap, he's wrapped up, right? It's almost yeah. like he's like a cocoon. Like, like I remember I was saying that, right? Uh, yeah. like like a butterfly, like you know a butterfly, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like he's in a cocoon and he's trying to break free to go into. It feels like he's like um, I don't want to say like reinventing himself. Maybe he's um, definitely breaking out because you know he breaks out through the glass yeah. and he like he falls out or whatever and and he looks back at this at this house as being set on fire and I think it's more or less like he's also becoming older he's becoming more mature you know what done, I'm saying he's trying to he's done with the funny become more shit. independent maybe yeah. you know what I'm saying um and uh, I think that when you see that like montage at the end. I don't really know if that's his past. I think that's almost like his future. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this like, is he's, what like, he's gonna he's, get. Okay. He's this is what he was. He just Doctor Strange that shit. I, <laughs> I don't want to even say future, but like this is what you're missing out on by not leaving. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I think that's why he called his album the Sailor. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think he's like it's like him moving venturing on. Off. And, yeah. You know I got gotcha. you. All right. Y'all didn't get that? I got it. I got it. No, it makes sense. All right, I can dig it. Video breakdown. I'll have, to, I'll have okay. to. I'll have to watch again and see. Let's well, start my own separate channel called the Video Breakdown Guy, uh, or I break down videos. All right. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be him literally with a sledgehammer breaking down videos. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dislike. <laughs> that shit gonna be. I'm gonna be so sick. It's gonna have one like. It's gonna have one like. It's gonna be like somebody is like, yeah, another one. <laughs> Fuck Do it. another dude in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I fucking love you, Big You. You. God, I wish I had a sledgehammer. <laughs> My fucking idol, bro. Um, no, we appreciate y'all though. Yeah, Definitely. Man. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit notifications. Go to trillmat.com slash merch. Help support the cause. Look fresh while doing it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, you're cute. It's your turn. I was going to say, y'all have a happy uh, 4th of July. Man. Oh, Stay yeah. safe out be there. Safe. Man, drive safe. I'll be safe I out mean, there. get fucked up, but don't be like driving it too. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, get... Pop fireworks Uber. in your damn hand fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Don't just, do that. Just, and don't get, don't I'm do going to throw bro. fireworks that are lit at you fucked up either because that's a, another way to get Definitely fucked up Definitely do too. that. Definitely do that. No, nah, that's a way to get fucked up. Definitely do that with your homies. Okay, with your homies, it's okay as long as you literally don't like, don't You got to like, you got, I mean like, let them get a little burned and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just, good Lord. Thanks for good Let times. them, good fucking times. Good memory, good stories for later. <laughs> you know? Remember that scar? Yeah, you almost blew my fucking finger off. Right. Right? Uh, and we're gonna be up out this thing, no I'm saying. No Deuces. Smoke some bitch or fight go with that. Make sure you go get big sign of Red Coat the Poet. Two player. Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Trillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.